Young Alf is off again, dreaming as usual. It's his favourite dream, too, the one where he's owner of an ice cream factory. I don't think he's greedy. Oh, no, it's just to make sure everything's all right that he's always tasting the goods. Other chaps may dream of being pirate kings or playing centre-forward for the Arsenal, but Alfie doesn't go for that kid stuff. One day he's going to own every ice cream factory in the whole world, so that wherever he goes he can always have ice cream on tap when he wants it. Now this is the way they ought to sell the stuff, instead of those measly little cornets you get at that shop on the corner. This is the best part of Alfie's dream, when the manager asks him to come and give his expert advice on the latest batch of ice cream. If only that kid who swanks because his dad keeps a sweet shop could see Alfie now. What a wonderful death to drown in a vat of this. Alfie takes his job seriously, even in a dream. It's not that he wants any more, but, well, he's responsible for seeing there won't be any cause for complaints. He's not only the owner, he's given himself the official taster job as well, like these people in the history books. This dream is getting a bit too real. He's nearly licked. Don't say he's got to eat his way through these large lumps as well. Perhaps Mum was right about too much of a good thing. Gosh, he's beginning to see things. Perhaps he'd better think about getting an assistant taster. All the same, he's not going to leave this behind. Maybe if he hurries, he can get it home to Mum and the others before it melts, or he wakes up. <laughs> 